It's okay. Okay, welcome to the, the final film of our uh, Taiwan Studies Taiwan uh, Film Week. Uh, this is the, um, uh, the sixth film we've watched and it'll be the, um, the fourth uh, Q&A that we've held over the last uh, three days. Um, the, um, and the final film we're going to watch is uh, My Fancy High Heels, Why Gao Wen Xia. Um, I'm just going to say a few words about um, how we actually got, got here with, with, uh, with this film, and then I'll, I'll hand over to, to B, who will we'll be chairing the session. Um, one of the uh, major partners in our project of uh, Taiwan film screening has been public television service in, uh, in Taiwan. Uh, and before we started screening, w uh, I went to the International Office of, of Taiwan Public uh, Television and explained our project that we wanted to show films that were relevant to the kind of courses on Taiwan that we we're teaching, relevant uh, regarding Taiwan's economy, politics, society, uh, and culture. And they gave me a, a list of about uh, 10 uh, recommended films. We've got through a lot of that list over the last uh, two years. Um, but one of the top films on the list was Wai Gao Wenxia, My Fancy High Hill. So I'm really delighted that we've we finally got uh, Hotel, Hotel T here. I think we even tried in the, um, uh, in the first year, and, we, and so I'm delighted that she, she's here. And I, I really want to thank Public Television for their support for this, this program. And I'm going to hand over now to, to Biyu, who's going to be uh, chairing the session. Thank you. Wow. Welcome, everyone. I'm glad to see quite a lot of uh, faces actually hang around all day long. Thanks for uh, being uh, fervent supporters. Um, as David rightly said that um, we have seen three uh, fantastic films uh, from Ke Zhao Ti. But um, we're delighted she's here again, coming back and answer your questions and um, answering th all three, especially uh, the films that we're showing tonight. Um, he Zhao Ti, let me just do a little bit of introduction, and uh, then I'll introduce her, then you'll give her a big welcome, as usual. <laughs> Thank you. And um, He Zhao Ti is both a producer and filmmaker. Her work works have won her many uh, awards and recognitions, she, uh, her films are uh, shown in Mon MoMA, for example, in New York. You know, it's really a very rare uh, uh, rec recognition. I think it's the only Taiwanese filmmakers that actually got this... Uh, uh, um, mm, we have two. Oh, two, yeah. sorry. Two One of the... <laughs> okay, right. So I'm, I'm sorry I got the uh, details wrong. So um, early on you have seen two of her films. One is the 2012 film, that's Class 303, and also 2013's film, uh, Socks and Roll, Ro, right? Tonight we are showing her a 2010's film, My Fancy High Heels. This documentary examines the global production chains of the worlds of high fashion and provides a rare and quite thoughtful um, dialogue between the global, uh, global and the local. Although the subject matters of her works ranged widely, uh, her works are always about human stories. So that's why we've always been touched by her uh, characters in her films. Um, she has always concerned with minority issues, political topics, and also social injustice. In this particular film, her gaze was drawn and focused on the devastating uh, impact of globalization and also the hyper consumerism on the uh, sorry on the disadvantaged groups. Sorry about that. So through the a pair of high heels or very humble pair of socks, she actually showed you that how closely connected we are, uh, we live our world with, uh, to the outside world, not only from the rural China uh, to the most fa uh, fancy and the fashionable New York and Milan. So let's put our hands together and give He Zhao Ti a warm welcome. Yes, sir. 
please. Sorry. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, very nice to meet you again tonight. Uh, so happy that I've already got my Valentine's Day flower from one of the audience. <laughs> he said he left. He has to to leave earlier, so he just gave me that. Very very happy. <laughs> and uh, uh, well, as usual, I I. I don't feel like to say too much before screening because the film itself will tell most of the information of the uh, documentary. So please enjoy the film. Um, the film probably a little bit emotional, so enjoy the film and uh, as usual, welcome any kind of question after screening. So, we are open to the floor to take questions. First, yes. Thank you. Uh, hello, well, thanks for telling such a great story. It was yeah, very enjoyable. And uh, what I'd like to say is, I notice with your editing, that you kind of started at the end and worked your way backwards. I was wondering, what the thinking was behind that, the way you chose to tell the story in that order. And, okay, any other questions or just start with uh, Desmond? Okay. Uh, yes, our uh, fans started films. Uh, in, 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 in tonight's films, um, I, 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 I saw there the, 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 the several interviewees are uh, 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 factory workers. And I suspect that is it more easy to approach the boss than the than the workers, and and how do you uh, uh, make the, the the workers being interviewed by you, especially some of them are interviewed in in the dormitory of of the factory and 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 the and the working place. Uh, before I answer the questions, I would like to uh, uh, I would like to thank to SOAS, especially uh, Dr. Uh, David Dell and uh, Bi Yu worked very hard to uh, organize this uh, event and uh, of course uh, Jewel and uh, Nikki. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. Mm. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> so for the first question, uh, I'd like to answer my question in Mandarin, so maybe Bi Yu could translate for me. Mm. <coughs> 的确我一开始的时候我的想法是要从顺着解就是说从原料的取得然后到原来的这一段这样子来解可是我通常会放弃掉 okay. You are absolutely right that uh, at the beginning Oh sorry At the beginning uh, the, the story was planned to be told uh, as the sequence of the uh, the event, which means from the very beginning of uh, the uh, uh, the acquisition of the material to the end, uh, ending with the Manhattan's uh, beautiful uh, 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 designers and the show showcases. So, usually, 我觉得我还算是一个用工的影像工作者，我觉得一个用工的人，他应该要一直丢掉他最前面的几个想法，然后去在形式上做挑战，而不是想一个最简单的方式去说故事。Okay. Um, I think uh, 
as a, a, a filmmaker, I, all, I have always worked uh, through different uh, various uh, ideas. And if I can get the idea so easily, others must have the same uh, uh, result. So she w tried to work out what's the best way, so you know, working through ideas. But she said, I, I consider myself as a quite hard-working filmmaker, uh, as hard-working people usually do. They work through things and, and refining them uh, again and again. So she, wa she tried to uh, polish uh, uh, through forms and, and, and also the uh, different way of presenting them. Okay. Uh, Full<笑> 如果是John卡的的話,我不能把quality低的跟高的剪在一起,剪在隔壁,他們是不適合當鄰居的。所以我在形式上想出一個辦法,就是說我在同一個時期剪出,拍出來的東西要變成一個他們放在一個小故事
is not to lay, lie down and just take the beating. Rather, you, you take that difficulties into your advantages. And uh, I think I actually translated, not bad. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. And it's a kind of a life attitude that uh, she wants to, to really convey through her films. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's the first question. <laughs> And the second question is, um, you and the boss, you have to ask the boss. Oh. And it's always from the top of the top. From the top of the top, it's not useful. He will say, I want to ask my boss. It's always from the top of the top, or the boss, the boss, the boss. You can meet him, and tell him why I want to do it. Usually, I don't want to do the logo. 就是这些高档鞋，因为他们都不愿意让任何人知道他们在替什么厂牌代工。呃，所以一旦拍到老板以后，获得老板的同意，然后老板像那个那里面有一个 Ben， 有一个什么 Ben， 那个台商哦、oh, 呃，那个会种水果那个，对对对，<笑><笑>那个种水果的 Ben 啊、呃，他。呃，我就跟他说，你可以派你的企业社会者，企业社会责任部门，就是他们去处理麻烦的媒体的，会有一个专门的部门去对付媒体。那我就说，你的企业社会责任部门的人可以跟着我，所以你会，你的人会知道我问什么问题。嗯，所以我的我的方式就是说我直接告诉他我要干嘛。那这个一翻两瞪眼，就他同意就同意，不同意就不同意。可是我要知道他最介意的是什么，他不希望，呃，他自己惹上麻烦嘛。所以我要一个程度上，我要帮他处理掉这些问题。那一般来说，如果这样处理的话，呃，成功的几率还蛮大的。可是其实我看过的工厂有二三十家，所以你们看到的这其实没有，放在里面的非常少，因为大部分人都拒绝我了。Okay, that's right. Um, of course, you have to get approval from the really top end of the uh, management uh, uh, level, and most of them actually the the owner of the factories. Uh, sorry, usually uh, they they are reluctant to take on this. Uh, you know why would they want you to hang around with them? But um, she said usually she's not. Uh, she will not. Film anything with logos on, so and also they don't want you to show off what sort of condition or uh, what sort of um, a brand they are producing for. And um, the guy Ben uh, is the guy who grew vegetables and the fruits and the, uh, geese and chicken and whatever. And he's the one. Um, she has to get approval directly from him. She said uh, sh the way she approached it was. Actually, she, she said, the, there's a department in the company, it's called Enterprise Responsibility or something like that? Yeah? Corporate? Corporate Affairs or something like that. Yeah, yeah. and that sort of uh, department, uh, well, they have a representative following the, uh, sh whole, the whole uh, process of filming, so they know exactly uh, what she's doing. But the thing is, um, it's, it's actually not too, if you, if you get their approval, once you get the approval, it's pretty straightforward. Um, she said, the most important thing is to know what to avoid. What is the, the point that they actually quite care and didn't re reluctant to touch upon? And she did say something, I, I don't really know details. She, uh, Zhao Ti was saying, for example, um, if you know what they really care about and where is the, the area that they don't want you to do and uh, they, because they don't want to get into trouble. I didn't ask what trouble that was, but you can ask later. And uh, if they agree to accept your uh, uh, filming crews, actually it's quite straightforward. But what you saw was a very, very small percentage of um, the the factories she, she contacted is you know she actually contacted 20 over 20 and 30 uh, factories 
this is very small proportion of that. Do you want, don't you want to know what trouble? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Troubles are something like the, the logo. Yeah, oh, they don't okay. want to, anybody knows the, uh, for example, Prada or Chanel is made, produced in his factory. Something oh, like that. okay. So we, can, we cannot show the logo. Yes. Yeah. Two questions, maybe this first one, anyone? And the second one. No, no. Yes, yes. Hold it first. <laughs> <laughs> not, not all. Hi, thanks for the film. And I have a question about the previous one, class 303. Yes. Um, I saw you focus on that group, like um, you give their, uh, you capture their ordinary life, but it, you also um, bring us back to their homeland, home country. And I'm just wondering um, what's your original thoughts to focus on this kind of group and uh, when you start um, to form your thoughts and when you end your film, is there any gap between them or do you have like touch, very touchable moment or kind of shock moment but um, it's hard to put into the film or you want to share with us? Thank you. And the second one? Yes. Uh, my question is about the film we've just seen, and I understand that the, the film is about globalization, and uh, your scope is not limited to the one specific region. But I also felt impression, had the impression that the, the Taiwan manifest, manifested really minimally in the film. So uh, we we had a person from Taiwan working in the mainland China, and also there was a brief sequence of the fashion show in Taipei. So was there any re reason about not filming the, the, the Taiwanese consumers or not interviewing those people or not filming the factory in Taiwan. Okay, thank you. 我先回答第二个问题就是其实已经没有什么做鞋的工厂在台湾了非常少几乎都没有尤其是顶级的代工品牌很少所以我当然很希望可以拍到可是那个时代已经过去了就是现在当时我拍的时候都已到中国的东南方所以不是倒不是因为我故意回避什么而台湾拍很少而是说在这个故事里面呃从消费者的那一端来看的话台湾也没有什么
I don't think it is um, really matter as a Taiwanese filmmaker. I think because the question she, she raised was about the impact of globalization. And also, um, it, it makes sense to trace the sources and also look at the end product. And New York is such a symbolic place to look at. And the, what's her name, Young? Sina Yang, Sina Yang. Mm -hmm. uh, she's the, uh, almost like a, a collective image of the high-end consumer of this particular uh, product. For her, it is not just about Taiwan's production, it's more, or more to do with a Taiwanese filmmaker's viewpoint, presenting, uh, not to mention Taiwan, play a role in, in the whole production. The, the, uh, the, the owner of that sh shoe shop was uh, Taiwanese uh, uh, boss. So actually, you cannot uh, be excluded because everyone's in it, you and me. I'm, I'm feeling very guilty wearing sh shoes, <laughs> leather shoes. So I'm just saying we are all in there with or without the depiction of Taiwan. And that's the whole point of uh, you know, talking about this. Yeah? 然后上个礼拜我想到就是因为我还刚跟小杨这边放嘛然后我又重新想了一下这个影片对我的意义我会觉得如果我重新拍一次的话第一段就是梅海腾这一段我要把它换成一个上海的影片因为当我在拍的时
。所谓 research 在纪录片里面的意思，就是说我们一个程度上要会算命，不是？<笑>要会要知道在呃一定的社会结构下，这个主角在未来这就是我拍摄的两三年的时间里面，它会有什么发展？呃，我觉得追踪是，呃，没有，我是说是 re research 时期，就是在我们开始拍之前， okay. 嗯 ，OK， 那我们需要做很深的这样子的功课，嗯，所以这个功课我觉得没有偏离什么主题，所以我觉得它的最后的结果除了欧丽金的变化很大以外，呃，其他的部分都差不多在我们的预料之中。所以变化不是太大，嗯，这也是一个比较，呃，拍纪录片里面对我们的那个，就是比较不会让导演中风的，比较好的方式，<笑>其实很少这种例子，对我来说，大部分都是完全不一样，嗯 ，OK。No, yeah, no, no, let me let, let me translate this part. Then you two, okay?、Um, uh, as in terms of the questions you raised about the source and、uh, how to choose all these、uh, families,、um, actually, before the、uh, filming process really took place, there were quite a, a meticulous uh, uh, research uh, process. So they already knew, sort of, in the next two three years. What might happen to these kids, and they need to be quite stable. In otherwise, it's very difficult for them to handle these cases. So、uh, structurally, they they need to pick up、um, different families. And uh, uh, apart from that girl whose parents were、uh, Indonesians,、uh, Ou Li Jing from、uh, Myanmar. Oh, Burma. Sorry about that. Um, so, the the father went to、uh, jail, if you remember in the case、uh, in the film. So apart from that particular family, most of the other uh, uh, families they were actually uh, um, quite stable. So she said, "We we want to do good research before we really、uh, embark on the、uh, filming because she said I don't want to have a stroke, which means." I don't want to encounter any unexpected uh, uh, surprises. That's all. So, research is very important for their、uh, filming to be successful. 那其实这部片还在拍摄，还我还会继续拍第二部。就是欧丽金现在已经，欧丽金跟马佩文现在已经过二，十四五岁了。对，已经已经变成美少女，<笑>已经长大了。对，嗯，所以。嗯、呃，也跟他们一直都保持联系，所以大概我希望可以拍他们十八二十岁左十八九岁的时候，再有第二部出来。对，嗯。Okay, and of course there will be sequels for、uh, for this particular film,、uh, Class Three O Three. At the moment, because there was、uh, filmed a while ago, Ma Pei Wen is the girl, Mom's a Thai Chinese Thai Chinese, and、uh, of course Ou Li Jing's.、Uh, Burmese, Burmese, and they are now fit, uh, fourteen, fifteen years old.、Uh, very pretty、uh, young ladies here. So she's planning to do a a, a follow up、um, when they were twelve.、Uh, sorry, eighteen or twenty. So we'll see the difference between these period. Then we can see the great difference. Maybe ten years difference, something like that. Well, I was,、uh, I was. Uh, well, uh, in 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 Britain, you have Seven Ups, you know Seven Up, yeah, documentary Seven Up. But in Taiwan, we don't have that. You know that Seven Up, that documentary. Ah, I'm a little bit inspired by that. Yeah, Seven Up, that that kind of shape. The the British、uh, documentary Seven Up. So it's a kind of inspiration for her to follow up and and see how they, you know, the process of growing up.、Um, Take another one, two.、Okay. Michael, then you. Okay, Michael yes, first.、Um, one thing horrified me,、um, which、uh, knowing a bit about、um, industrial safety, it was the toxic.、Um, <laughs> the they were. Oh yeah, and the nigger nigger gold, gold gold and shit. 
um, was that they were working in an atmosphere of solvents. They were holding up the shoe right by their face and painting on the glue. Uh -huh. Now, maybe they had a water-based glue which was safe, but I doubt it. I doubt it. <laughs> and that is highly toxic. There's organic glue that they were working with. They're going to get liver cancer after okay. a few years. Um, and I thought that was horrifying. Maybe I could ask you, in that production line, was the smell overpowering of the organic glue which mm. they were using? Do you remember? The next two so two questions yeah. so we can sorry. Hello Vivian Yes. Yeah. Hi there. Um, my question is more general about filmmaking. So in your film, quite often um, you approach difficult subjects. Um, for example, in the last film, you show people working in slaughterhouse and people uh, slaughtering young calves. Um, my question is, how do you interact and relate to the subjects in your film? Uh, would you try to uh, conscientiously um, be careful not to come across as being judgmental when you might have some feelings, in, feelings inside you, you think it's wrong, but you feel you can't show that on your, on your face because those people might feel shameful about what they're doing as well, to try to let them feel easy in front of the camera. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 我的意思是说你讲太长了我会记不得 <laughs> Sorry Zhao Ti was saying that if you for Chinese workers, laborers having cancer as an illness maybe it's a luxury Okay 意思就是说 Wow, she will explain 在有一些工厂的附近有的医生他是专门以手断掉就是那个手是直接切到机器里面去断掉的我所谓的cancer是一个很 奢侈和很幸运的病的意思就是说还等不到的cancer 就是有点像是一个回收系统。Okay. It's quite depressing actually. Um, there are some sort of uh, medical services nearby, uh, near the uh, factories. Usually, they have certain kind of uh, um, specialties of uh, dealing with emergencies, like you know, you 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 got your hands chopped off, or <laughs> some sort of uh, 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 quite brutal and careless uh, injuries. So, if you are you live so long to get a cancer kind of disease, that meant actually you're quite lucky to live that long. Well, um, there, there were loads of different accidents and, and uh, um, for example, you saw them uh, wearing masks. Actually, in, in ordinary condition, they don't usually uh, wear masks. It, it was being demanded by the boss saying they are filming. You know, yeah, those masks were useless. Well, it's at least there's a, okay. And the thing is, uh, they they don't they that's the rule, but they don't carry it out stringently. So uh, you know, usually it was so hot. That's why Zhao Ti was saying it's not humane. It's all covered up, and uh, um, workers like you. You heard those girls discussing working from twenties to sixties. For her, she saw was those kids or those workers were dispensable. They were just like 
recycling. If you are uh, you know, useless, then they carry on. Plenty of people wanted to, those jobs. So that's the realities you see now. So when we talk about organic, wow, well, that's just luxury. That's not really what they are really care about. Okay. 一个做纪录片人的一个技巧进入这个拍摄的现场，或者是去拍出一部纪录片。哦，嗯，拍摄，拍摄。Because it's quite uh, complicated. Um, she said, I would never say I'm objective, but I will not impose totally a a hundred percent of my view on you. But I will definitely my work is presenting a a viewpoint to present to you, and you made your judgment. Uh, so, in the scene, uh, uh, it's a temp. Yeah. Sorry? Random memory. Oh, is that random? <laughs> 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 好, um, of course, but you cannot not to have emotional reaction to many things. But as you rightly said, it's a kind of a uh, uh, tem temporary uh, memory. But you 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 store it and you put it aside. And you d didn't deal with it until you went back after the whole day's filming. You went back to hotel wherever, and it really surged into your, 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 your life. And it's quite painful, actually. You know, it's like suddenly surfaced. <笑>就是要不然一定会生病 so what can I do? She said, because you, you can see from my films, most of the topics I, I deal with are tragedy, tragedies in life or, or, or sad stories or sometimes um, uh, disadvantaged, uh, uh, marginalized people. Um, if I really, I, I made myself face up to those things. If I don't, I will get ill. I will be sick, either physically or mentally. Um, but I think I need to face up to those uh, uh, difficulties in life uh, honestly, which means I should never 
rationalize uh, those uh, things you have seen. For example, she said, if I rationalize this, this killing of little uh, animals, called, just because women like beautiful things, that's not the way forward. So I cannot make myself do that. So I present to you very honestly with all these brutal images. 然后把它当成是就是当我面对这些苦难的现场的时候 你会摄取蛋白质，所以你的肌肉会变得更有弹性，更更强韧。就是当你的肌肉组织被破坏，可是它又增生的时候，那个肌肉会变得更强壮。所以我觉得我把拍纪录片当成是一种心灵的重量训
。那么还有一个就是说，因为刚刚你已经谈到呃痛苦的经验，那么对于呃呃这两部片子，这两部片子的那个呃最愉快或最呃让你呃 enjoyable 的是什么？我外公写的跟三零三，因为他只看了三零三。Sorry，Sorry。<笑>其实没有人问那个呃黑狗熊好好看呢、哦。<笑> Sorry。OK， yeah， I also want to give my thanks to the director first because it's really because this film then we have the chance to know the underlying process like a behind the Heavy industry. Otherwise, we we don't really know those kind of truth. So my question is, um,、mm, so the final part of your high heel, my fancy high film, high heel film, it that that is very lot lot of scenes are very emotional and also astonished. But you end the、mm. film with the with the, in an animation with the little cow. And then later, he reunite with maybe his parent, and that is a very like a completely different like a effect. I just want to ask why, like how do you design the way you want to end the film and what、mm. the purpose? Are you just trying to make audience feel a little bit better after what everything? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Hmm. Interesting. You want to answer? I'll answer the three hundred and three question. Okay. Is, um, I think the most recent experience is that he is always in our backyard selling food. It's a bad restaurant, and there are many, many, many shots that I, I actually can hear that they are from the backyard. 嗯，所以我好像没有没有真的回答这个问题。我我其实是在回想我跟他们接触的经验。嗯，然后我哎、欸，其实我蛮常有一种习惯，就是说，当我看我在观察人，或者是我跟形形色色的人接触的时候，我有时候会去，嗯，那可能是一种同理的同理心的。的一种经验，就是说，我会去想象，如果我是他，那我的生活会是什么？嗯，那我我只要这样一想，我就想到非常非常多的困难。我我可能看不懂字，我没有办法读报，然后，呃，别人看待我的时候，都是用一种异样的眼光在看我，然后就不用说我的小孩在学校里面会怎么样被对待，等等。就是当我。一想象我是他的时候，我就会想到一大堆的问题。那可能都不是现在我会面临到的问题。对，所以我觉得，呃，政治立场上当然就是，我想我已经一个程度上表现在我的影片里面。所以我今天比较想讲的是我自己个人的感受。呃，所以我觉得，呃，譬如说我去买菜啊，或者是。出去吃饭，有时候在小馆子里面看到他们在工作的样子的时候，其实那个是最早我想要拍摄这部片的一个最初的印象，就是它它有点像是一个小种子，对，种在心里面，然后后来它就慢慢长，慢慢长，长到后来三零三的这部片的样子。嗯。Um, wow. Of course, um, the it was it started very uh. From the daily life、uh, around my house,、uh, I sometimes、um, when I go out for a shop sh shopping, buying、um, food shopping, I mean,、uh, not shoes shopping.、Um, <laughs> I, I heard quite a lot of different kind of accents and different kind of、uh, languages, and I notice usually, for example, they are selling uh, uh, dumplings or, or also different kind of dishes, and my experience. Her experience usually is when she's observing people, she likes to empathize with them and see if I was them, what what will happen? Oh, I can't read. I'm an illiterate uh, 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 person because I 
not because I'm stupid, because I can't read your language, or uh, there are so many different uh, different problems. My children will be uh, uh, discriminated. Uh, people will look at me differently. Um, she can see just by imagining uh, when when she was there. She can imagine what what's going on, or what difficulties there were. Uh, so, personally, I think these little people experience was a little bit like seed seedlings you know being planted in your heart eventually grow and grow become an idea <笑>我覺得這怎麼辦呢我的意思是說哈那個比較可能可以說是比較安慰的事情是什麼應該是說我覺得我好像是比較適切的做了一個傳達訊息的人我一直覺得我自己是個傳訊人因為我就是都是
being of mixed heritage, I can relate to you know the occasion of being uh, marginalised and being treated with hostility. And my question was, um, those um, immigrants, what's the viewpoint on those which are not her race or culture? You mean her view? Yes, on those. She did answer. She said, oh. empathising, and she was imagining what kind of difficulties it, w it would occur. Maybe later. I missed it. No, no, that's no, fine. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Time flies, and uh, res why receptions await. But before <laughs> you make your move, but uh, let us thank Fajati. It's fantastic. <laughs> We do have loads of different kinds of seminars, not just films. So do keep an eye on our uh, event page. Thank you.